Hi, Matt Marino here. Welcome to Trinity Parish in St. Augustine. I've got a group of friends that have just knocked themselves out over the last week, putting together a really amazing worship experience for you tonight. It's called the Service of Shadows. And to, to really participate in this, I think what you want to do is uh, pause the video, turn off your ringer, close your curtains, dim your lights. You really want to experience this in uh, quietness and darkness. This is a remarkably powerful experience based on a 14th century monastic service called Tenebrae, which means shadows. And what we're going to do tonight is we're going to tell the story of Jesus' journey to the cross through the totality of Holy Week, in particular in the actions of Jesus as he goes to and through the cross together. And we're going to tell that story through darkness and light, through song and chant, and through Old Testament prophecy, all written between two and eight centuries before Jesus was born. Wrap your mind around that. You might wonder, why, why candles? What are candles there for? We've got 14 candles that you'll see. Um, 12 of them represent the disciples. One of them represents you and I, and one of them represents Jesus. And as we go through the story, the candles will begin to be extinguished, representing the disciples' fading loyalty as, as Jesus drew closer to his death. Now, you might wonder if all of these people grew up reading the Bible. How did these events not seem eerily familiar? How did they so quickly abandon Jesus in his time of need? And, and that's, a, that's a great question to ask. And that's why there's one more candle for us, because we know so much more today than those disciples knew. And yet we're so inconsistent spiritually ourselves. Then the final candle is for Jesus. And when Jesus' candle goes out, we're going to spend a few moments contemplating the meaning of what he's done. And then finally, a bell will toll seven times, and that will indicate that the service is over. And so I invite you now to experience the service of shadows.
The crowds believe Jesus to be the promised Messiah to deliver Israel from foreign occupation. They shout. Rejoice greatly, O daughter of Zion. Shout, daughter of Jerusalem. See, your king comes to you, righteous and having salvation, gentle and riding on a donkey, on a colt, the foal of a donkey. We remember that day as Palm Sunday. Five days have passed. The crowds are frustrated. It is obvious that Jesus refuses to be the military deliverer they are hoping for. Jesus is praying in a garden called Gethsemane, which means the oil press. Zeal for your house has eaten me up. The scorn of those who scorn you has fallen upon me. Arise, O God, maintain my cause. On the Mount of Olives, Jesus prayed to the Father. If it is possible, let this cup pass from me. The, the Spirit, Spirit indeed is willing, willing but, but the, the flesh, flesh is weak. weak. Watch and pray that you may not enter into temptation. The, the Spirit, Spirit indeed is willing, willing but, but the, the flesh is weak. weak. Remain here and watch with me. Now you shall see the crowd who will surround me. You will flee, and I will go to be offered up for you. Behold, the hour is at hand, and the Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of sinners. You will flee, and I will go to be offered up for you. Zeal for your house has eaten me up. The scorn of those who scorn you has fallen upon me. Arise, O God, maintain my cause. Even my close friend, whom I trusted, he who shared my bread has lifted up his heel against me. If an enemy were insulting me, I could endure it. If a foe were raising himself against me, I could hide from him. But it is you, a man like myself, my companion, my close friend, with whom I once enjoyed sweet fellowship as we walked with the throng at the house of God. I told them, if you think it best, give me my pay, but if not, keep it. So they paid me 30 pieces of silver. And the Lord said to me, throw it to the potter, the handsome price at which they priced me. So I took the 30 pieces of silver and threw them into the house of the Lord to the potter. The kings of the earth rise up and revolt, and the princes plot together against the Lord and against his anointed. False witnesses have risen up against me, and those who speak malice. I 
I have heard the many rumors about me, and I am surrounded by terror. My enemies conspire against me, plotting to take my life. Malicious witnesses testify against me. They accuse me of things I don't even know about. They accuse me of things I've never done and breathe out violence against me. I offered my back to those who beat me, my cheeks to those who pulled out my beard. I did not hide my face from mocking and spitting. I am scorned by all my enemies and despised by my neighbors. Even my friends are afraid to come near me. When they see me on the street, they turn the other way. He was oppressed and treated harshly, yet he never said a word. He was led as a lamb to the slaughter. And as a sheep is silent before the shearers, He did not open his mouth. From prison and trial, they led him away to his death. But who among the people realized that he was dying for their sins, that he was suffering their punishment? He had done no wrong, and he never deceived anyone. The kings of the earth rise up in revolt, And the princes plot together against the Lord and against his anointed. False witnesses have risen up against me and those who speak malice. But the Lord was pleased to crush him, putting him to grief, if he would render himself as a guilt offering. He was led like a lamb to the slaughter, but he opened not his mouth. They will look on me, the one they have pierced. Dogs have surrounded me. A band of evil men has encircled me. They have pierced my hands and my feet. My strength is dried up like a potsherd, and my tongue sticks to the roof of my mouth. You lay me in the dust of death. They put gall in my food and gave me vinegar for my thirst. We all, like sheep, have gone astray. Each of us has turned to his own way. And the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. He was counted among those who were sinners. My enemies surround me like a herd of bulls. Fierce bulls have hemmed me in. Like roaring lions attacking their prey, they come at me with open mouths. My life is poured out like water, and all my bones are out of joint. My heart is like wax melting within me. I am an object of scorn to my accusers. When they see me, they shake their heads. I love them, but they try to destroy me, even as I pray for them. My 
my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Why are you so far from saving me? So far from the words of my groaning? We We all like like sheep have gone astray. Each of us has turned to his own way. And the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. But the Lord was pleased to crush him, putting him to grief. If he would render himself as a guilt offering. He was led like a lamb to the slaughter, but he opened not his mouth. They shall mourn for him as one who mourns for an only child. For the Lord, who is without sin, is slain. Yet it was the Lord's will to crush him and cause him to suffer. The Lord makes his life a guilt offering. After the suffering of his soul, he will see the light of life and be satisfied. By his knowledge, my righteous servant will justify many, and he will bear their iniquities. Therefore, I will give him a portion among the great, and he will divide the spoils with the strong, because he poured out his life unto death and was numbered with the transgressors. For he bore the sin of many and made intercession for the transgressors. For he bore the sin of many and made intercession for the transgressors. I divide my garments among them. They cast lots for my clothing. He grew up before him like a tender shoot and like a root out of dry ground. He had no beauty or majesty to attract us to him, nothing in his appearance that we should desire him. He was despised and rejected by men, a man of sorrows and familiar with suffering. Like one from whom men hide their faces, he was despised, and we esteemed him not. And And by by his his wounds we we are are healed. healed. Surely he took up our infirmities and carried our sorrows, yet we considered him stricken by God, smitten by him, and afflicted. But he was pierced for our transgressions, He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was upon him. And by his wounds, we are healed. We all like sheep have gone astray. Each of us has turned to his own way. And the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. They shall mourn for him as one who mourns for an only child. For the Lord, who is without sin, is slain. When they look upon the one whom they have pierced, they shall mourn for him as one mourns for an only child and weep bitterly over him as one weeps over a firstborn. He protects all his bones. Not one of them will be broken. Is 
It is finished. Into your hands I commit my spirit. Christ for us became obedient unto death, even in death on a cross. How deep the Father's love for us, how vast beyond all measure, that he should give his only Son to make a wretch his treasure. How great the pain of searing loss, the Father turns his face away. As wounds which mar the chosen one Bring many sons to glory Behold the man upon a cross My sin upon his shoulders Ashamed I hear my mocking voice Call out among the scoffers It was my sin that held him there Until it was accomplished His dying breath has brought me life I know that it is finished in anything no gifts no power no wisdom but I will boast in Jesus Christ his death and resurrection why should I gain from his reward I cannot give an answer but this I know with all my heart His wounds have paid my ransom Why should I gain from His reward? I cannot give an answer But this I know with all my heart his wounds have paid my ransom. He was assigned a grave with the wicked and with the rich in his death, though he had done no violence, nor was any deceit in his mouth. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your unfailing love, according to your great compassion, blot out my transgressions. Wash away all my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my transgressions and my sin is always before me. Against you, you only, have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight? So that you are proved right when you speak 
and justified when you judge. Surely I was sinful at birth, sinful from the time my mother conceived me. Surely you desire truth in the inner parts. You teach me wisdom in the inmost place. Cleanse me with hyssop, and I will be clean. Wash me, and I will be whiter than snow. Let me hear joy and gladness. Let the bones you have crushed rejoice. Hide your face from my sins and blot out all my iniquity. Create in me a pure heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me from your presence or take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and grant me a willing spirit to sustain me. Then I will teach transgressors your ways and sinners will turn back to you. Save me from blood guilt, O God, the God who saves me, and my tongue will sing of your righteousness. O O Lord, open open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. You do not delight in sacrifice, or I would bring it. You do not take pleasure in burnt offerings. The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit. A broken and contrite heart, O God, you will not despise. Almighty God, graciously look upon us, your family, for whom our Lord Jesus Christ was willing to be betrayed and given into the hands of sinners and to suffer death upon a cross. Amen. Jesus Christ died the death reserved for the worst of criminals. He did this for you, for me, and for the whole world. As the writer of Hebrews said, he endured the cross, despising the shame, and sat down at the right hand of God the Father. In gratitude, let us praise God together by reading aloud the 150th Psalm. Praise the Lord. Praise God in His sanctuary. Praise Him in His mighty heavens. Praise Him for His acts of power. Praise Him for His surpassing greatness. Praise Him with the sounding of the trumpet. Praise Him with the harp and lyre. Praise Him with the tambourine and dancing. Praise Him with the strings and flute. Praise Him with the clash of cymbals. Praise Him with resounding cymbals. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Lord. 